Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Intermediate HTML. Before going over this tutorial, I would recommend that you uh, just learn some basic HTML. Uh, but if you already know it, then you don't have to worry. Um, but if you don't um, understand any form of HTML, I would recommend that you go watch my basic HTML tutorial first, and there's a link in, um, to that in the description. Um, so if you already do understand HTML, let's get started with some intermediate. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in intermediate HTML is we're going to start going over tables. Now, tables, um, you might think, like, are pretty simple to do, um, and encoding also simple as well. Now, as you may know, the tables are going to feature on the web page, so we want to put them between these two body tags. Okay, so right in between them. Now, the tag for table simply uses the keyword table. So, we're going to make a table start tag, like we usually do, and also an end tag. Now, once you have a pair of table tags now, um, and if you ran the code, they saved it, then ran it, um, you wouldn't see anything, because you're not done, because you need um, sort of elements um, inside it. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go between the table tags. Now we're going to add table rows. And now all you need to do is think of T or table row, and that's simple. Um, and also don't forget a closing tag. And if you want, you can throw in a couple more. You know what? I'm just going to make two. So I'm going to have a p two pairs of table row tags. Okay. So table start. Table, sorry, table row starts, table row finish, and the same twice. Okay, so even if you started like this, um, it still wouldn't be done because you need one more tag left, and this is going to be called a TD tag. Um, so if you go in between, say, your first pair of table row tags, uh, just simply type in TD for a table, I don't know what T, the D would be, but some. Um, You'll have table, then T or for table row, and then TD for table something. I don't know what the D stands for, but yeah, you can just go with it. Um, and then also a close tag, and you can ha you don't have to do it. you can add more if you want. You can have a little bit less, but I'm gonna have two rows and two columns. So um, you're gonna see exactly what it looks like when I have this done. Um, now this may look a bit unstructured, but um, I'll show you uh, what it looked like in the in the end. So we have another pair of TD tags, um, and now we're going to put two more pairs in this other, in between um, the last pair of table row tags. Okay, so that's the first one, and then the second one. Okay, so basically what we have here um, is immediately after our body start tag we have a table opening tag so this tells the web browser to start making a table then on this line right here is a T or opening tag so it starts the first row of the table on A we have the TD opening and closing tags so this is going to be the first option um, in the row, so this is going to make the first cell of of um, the first row, um, and it's not really structured in columns, so you will need to take more care when actually doing tables. But it should be pretty easy after you get the hang of it. Um, then here you also have slashes, and I forgot that one, so don't forget to throw in a slash as for the, your closing tags. So basically here on line 8 and 9 um, are going to be the opening and closing tags for your um, cell options in the table, well just the cell content if you want to call it um, and that's basically what's going to show up inside the table for these ones so these are going to be, so basically for a very um, brief description is that these two are going to contain the content for the first row of the table okay then this is the end of the first row Start of the second row, um, first content of the of the second row, second content, um, end of the second row, end of the table. Okay, so as long as you get a good idea of a structure of a table, you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, now um, 
if you run this code and it doesn't seem to show up properly as the table um, what you can do well first of all you need to throw in um, some content so I'm just sorry so I'm just going to simply just throw in numbers there's nothing really special about the content and then what I want to do is if you even ran this code so I'm just going to save that and run it so up to run launch in whatever it is okay so as you can see it just shows numbers but it also doesn't really show any division lines um, so if you don't have these there's a very quick way to actually show this so if you just go back to your code okay if you remember from a from from a ba from my basic HTML tutorial, I would have told you about attributes like for um, a link you'd have a href for hyper reference, and for an image you'll have like SRC for source. So for a table, um, we're going to use um, a bit of CSS if you know a bit of that, and basically we're just going to thicken the border. So to do the border, you just type in the word border for your attribute name equals and then the value will be um, the thickness that you want so I'm gonna have it say two pixels thick this is just really a random a random choice don't forget to save it okay so so table border equals open quotations two pixels close quotations and so on so on so now if we go back to our um, code okay so this is what it looks like right now after we reload it our table shows up okay so basically that's a that, that's exactly basically how a table in intermediate HTML will show up so you can play around with this and work away um, now before we move on to the next topic I'm just going to show you uh, something interesting you can do you can also label your head your tables so if you go before any all of the rows, but you're still going within the table, so bet um, between the table start tag and the first table row start tag, um, and what you do is you type in th for table for table heading, and don't forget the closing tag as well. And then in between the two, you're just going to throw in a name, so random numbers. This is just as a random name okay so literally I'm just throwing in random content I don't give a damn what it all means okay so that's just as an example now we go back to our code okay so this is what it looks like now with the table heading added this is what it looks like now I know that this seems to be a lot bit lopsided but it doesn't really matter okay so this is basically um, a basic table um, so just play around with it and have just basically just practice away um, and that's basically tables okay so next list lists okay so now we're going to do some lists in HTML there is three different types of lists ordered unordered and definition ordered lists is where the order as you may know matters um, so like a set of instructions like one two three ABC that sort of stuff um, unordered is where the order doesn't really have to matter um, um, and it's basically where it's like if you can use bullet points or anything like that, so like a to-do list and a definition list would be like whether it's this group of words that were mentioned in like say a book that you had but you didn't understand them and then the description is given which is like a glossary for example so as long as you understand those three examples um, you should understand what these three lists, lists will do so first of all, we're going to uh, get into the main page of it itself. So, so we're gonna kind of go continue after all the content we've done before the bar end of the web page, and we're gonna throw in the keyword for ol tag. So we're gonna, gonna start with ol tags for um, ordered list tags, ordered lists. Sorry. Um, so we go ahead with ol for ordered list, and we also put in the end tag then between them we're going to need to add more tags and these tags will help to take the um, the you know the content of the list since if you just put down the content um, you won't see like one two three or ABC or all that stuff so we're going to throw down I'm going to throw down um, say two of these so we're going to have the start tag and the end tag um, okay so this is basically what it looks like so OL 
L I L I L I L I and O L. Okay. And now we're gonna throw in some contents so like car and plane. Okay. And we're gonna save that. Okay, so once you understand that, it shouldn't be a problem. So this is basically what it'll look like. So one car, two plane. Very simple. Okay, it's now so now that's an example of an ordered list. So we have one, two, A, B, that sort of stuff. Now we're gonna go for unordered lists. Um now unordered, unlike ordered, don't have to be in any order. So we're gonna have like things like bullet points. So an ordered list, sorry, an unordered list looks like an ordered list except um instead of O L you'll have U L. So O L for unordered um for ordered and U L for unordered, okay? So O for so O L ordered and U L unordered. Okay, so kind of that simple to um to be able to distinguish the, between the two. Okay? Um the rest, such as like the, the middle content, the L I tanks can stay since they also have to be contained within the an or or un, un, unordered list. Um okay, so that's basically what that'll look like. So if we go back to this, so uh, I changed it from an ordered to an unordered. So one two simply changes to bullet points. That's simple. Okay, so um, that's basically the two lists that we have so far. Ordered, one, two, and unordered bullet points. Um, so now we're going to go to the final type of definition, which is defin sorry, list, which is definition, definition list. Um, so um, this time we might need to leave the previous list as it is um, because a definition list is kind of just done a little bit differently so the stars is going to be DL so definition list so nothing new there really except for you know the DL it's not rather than OL or UL but anyway um, now the the um, the content itself is going to be replaced by different keyword um, different tags so for UL and OL we had LI but for DL we're going to have something like DT. DT is going to be the tags used for describing the content uh, for for yeah the content of uh, our lists. So uh, I'm, going to I'm going to throw in one more, and that's it. So this is what we have so far for our definition lists, and I'm just going to throw in content for them. So car, plane, okay. So that's basically what it looks like so far. We go back to our web browser, and there we go. Okay, now we're not done yet because, as you can see, there's no description of them because that's what the definition does. Um, so we need to add one more thing to our list. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go between the two, and basically what we're going to do here is we're going to give a description for the car because we're after the car and before the plane so it's going to, this is going to be the, descri the description for the car so instead of DT we're going to have DD okay so this is, so this is what is these are the tags used for describing the content of the lists the list items um, okay so and we also need our closing tag and we're going to do the same for the other item okay now we need a description for them so car as we know is like ground transportation okay are you maybe we'll just leave that ground transport and then plane is like flying transport or air transport whatever you want to call it okay and that's that's us simply done okay now we're going to save that and we're going to go back to it and basically now after refresh it gives a good definition of it, them now. So car, ground transport, plane, flying transport. Now I'm just going to go back over just for you to understand this. So for ordered and unordered, we are going to use UL and OL. So UL for unordered, OL for ordered. And the items in their lists will be surrounded by keyword tags with keywords of LI. Um, so that's a, so the only difference between an ordered and an unordered is their keyword OL and UL. Then for definition lists, we are going to have DL to define a definition to 
define a definition list and within them we're going to have DT tags to put in the content of a definition list and we're going to have DD um, for the description of each of the definition list contents. So as long as you understand that, uh, you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever with lists and uh, all you have to do now is just practice away with them. Um, you know, mess around, uh, have fun with it, and soon you become quite a professional at lists. Um, now there is more things we're going to be going over about lists, but we'll go, I'm going to be going over them in the next tutorial. Okay.